Today, I got up super early to go check out three Walmart stores and their Pokemon card restock, so I walked in, went to the back, and they actually had a decent selection here. And when it comes to these Walmart restock videos, I'm always looking out for interesting items. We have these V-Star collection boxes and some Sword and Shield Era Elite Trainer boxes, and also some Crown Zenith on the shelves. Up front, they had a massive amount of Scarlet and Violet Era Elite Trainer boxes and also a massive amount of Lorcana Sleeve Booster Packs. And when I'm shopping for Pokemon cards at Walmart, I'm always looking for the best bang for your buck because the prices aren't always the best, so I usually skip out on any collection boxes, but when it comes to 151 Mini Tins, I always have to snag a few. And if you know me, I can't have just one, I'm gonna also pick up this Dragonite Mini Tin as well. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna pick up some random Temporal Forces. On to the second store, and this store is always my favorite because the shelves are always fully loaded with product, and this time, it did not disappoint. And like I said earlier, when it comes to pricing for Pokemon cards at Walmart, it isn't always the best, but the selection and variety on the shelves is actually pretty cool to look at. But I will say that this store in particular always has a huge variety of product on the shelves, ranging from Paldean Fates, Shining Fates, Collection Boxes, and many other items. And they also have two 151 Mini 10 displays, which I was actually kind of surprised to see. And you already know, I had to pick up another one. And to add a little variety to the mix, I also had to pick up a Fusion Strike 3-pack hanger box to go after that Gengar VMAX. So I finally ended up at the third and final Walmart store, and at this point I'm already expecting to see some of the same items that I saw at the previous two stores. And at first glance, the card section in the back looked about the same, but I did catch my eye on the C22 Mini Tins that I've bought before on the channel. These should have Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies inside. And if you know me, we have to open it. This store also had two of these V-Hero Window Tins that have Evolving Skies packs inside, but I have to save them for a future video. Stay tuned for that. Back at the LZ, after visiting three Walmart stores for Pokemon restocks, we have a decent selection of packs to open, so hopefully we can pull some hits. This is Lizard Bro. So we definitely made a restock hunt video today a haul we made a trek out into the wilderness for random pokemon card items uh wanted a little variety for today's opening uh so i didn't go into the stores and buy like the biggest product or didn't buy definitely didn't go buy no damn upcs but we got three packs of the brand new set temporal forces did a video on two etbs uh the other day didn't I got some good cards, but not, like none of the heavy hitters. Had to have some Temporal Forces in the video. Like I said, a little variety, so I got three packs of those. I picked up, uh, I've been seeing the like stores restock these Fusion Strike hanger boxes. It's got three packs of Fusion Strike, so hopefully we can get some Fusion Strike luck here today. Again, just a little variety, nothing too crazy. Some Fusion Strike Temporal Forces. Now the last store, the last Walmart, or technically the third Walmart I went to, I went to a fourth. Didn't really record. There's too many people in line because the aisle's real small. That's where I got this Paldean Fates Mini 10. But uh, the third store had the C22 Mini 10s. What are these? The Galar Power or Galar Pal? I think they're the Galar Power Mini 10s. These should have Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike. So just a just a little glimpse at Evolving Skies here today. I did pick up like the other Sylveon tins and the other three Mini 10s, but I'm saving those. For, an, a for a dedicated Evolving Skies video. My God, it's going to be a good one. I just got to keep saving. So just 110 here today out of that little grouping. Uh, like I said, one Paldean Fates Mini 10. A lot of Mini 10s here today. You know, that's exactly what it is. Uh, Paldean Fates Mini 10 after the Bubble Mew, uh, after the Charizard. My brother pulled it in his video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. And, of course, I had to have some 151 in my life. <laughs> picked up three mini tins. Picked up two from the first store. And I think uh, one more mini tin from the uh, second or third store. I forget. But had to have some 151. We got a decent opening. A decent haul here today. Nice restocks all around. A couple stores were loaded. The third and fourth store, not so much. But I'm going to get all of this broken down. And we'll get into ripping for this Pokemon restock video. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to get a little organized here. We're going to save... As much as I love Evolving Skies from that mini tin, I'm going to save the 151 packs for last because I've been on a heater with 151. It's it's incredible. Uh, so we got the, the three mini tins, six uh, packs of 151 from the three mini tins. I broke down the Fusion Strike hanger box. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of order I'm going to go in here. Uh, we got the Paldean Fates mini tin, the Mousehold mini tin. Probably going to open them first because my luck with 
Paldean Fates is uh, not <laughs> not very good. And here is the C22 Mini 10. Like I said, a little a little taste today, just a little nibble of evolving skies here today. And it also came with a Fusion Strike pack. Again, I'm saving those other tins. I found like three other tins plus the two window tins there at that third Walmart. And yeah, I, I'm saving them for an evolving skies video. Trust me, guys. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen sooner or later, preferably sooner because I'm sitting on some product that I just I really want to open. And then we also have the three random sleeved packs of Tempora Forces. Gonna open, you know, we'll go Paldean Fates because I'm not much on Paldean Fates. Just I pulled some the, some of the special illustration errors, but I'm just not really hot on the set. It's it's not my cup of tea. I don't know. It's just I'd rather save my money. But like I said, for variety. Had to open some here today just to just to spruce it up. Like I said, spruce Springsteen. Hopefully we can get like some some type of shiny from it. And we got a Ralts. I skipped a card, Moonlit Hill. And we have a Ralts baby shiny. Not too bad. And for the next round, can you get double banger packs? Chin Chow. And for the rare, Mabastiff holographic. Not too bad. Just a little, just a little taste. You know, a little, a little shiny to kind of get us going here. Not too bad. I'll sleeve it. I don't know, Ralts may be in the, you know, one of the better baby shinies to get. I'm not a, I did pull the Pikachu not too long ago, so that was, uh, pretty cool, and I got that board backwards. I don't know how I keep doing that. It's, it's, either, I mean, it's 50-50 on which way that, that, that board sits, but, uh, yeah, just had it backwards. Next Paldean Fates pack, uh, man, I'd love to see that Bubble Mew. Honestly, that's the top card that I'm really wanting, uh, Followed by the Charizard, of course. Like I said, my brother pulled it in his video. If you haven't, go check out his video. His reaction is priceless. It's uh, it's Charizard. It's a special illustration rare Charizard. It's crazy. I mean, I would I would I would have reacted the same way he did. And we have a Nimona, Cottony, and an Aspathra EX Terraform. Again, with the Terraforms, they got that like glitter texture. Not uh, maybe it is textured, but it's. It just looks cool. We'll put it up there by Ralts. We'll we'll throw that on the on the backboard there. Where do we go from here? Ugh. Probably Tempora Forces. I kind of want to save some Fusion Strike, you know, after these. A Tempora Forces. It looks fun. Uh, some of the cards in the set are spectacular. Like I said uh, in my ETB video for Tempora Forces, the artwork for the Scarlet and Violet era sets are absolutely incredible. Like definitely. They definitely juiced up the artwork when it comes to that. Sandy Shocks, Vicavolt, Mitang, and a Feraligator. I've seen plenty of him. Feraligator is literally in like one out of every four packs. Come on, Temporal Forces. Let's get that Iron Leaves. Let's get the, uh, what is it? Iron Crown is another cool one. Uh, there's an awesome Salvatore special illustration rare from Temporal Forces. Like I said in my ETB video, ETB video just not really... It's just kind of thrown in the mix. Temporal Forces is nice, but it's not really what I'm kind of focusing on. You know, I'd rather put that that money towards other videos. But we'll see. What, we'll see what we can get out of these couple of packs. Great Tusk, Roly Coley, Carvana, and an Iron Boulder Full Art. That's pretty cool. There's a special illustration rare of it too. That's pretty cool. Very nice to get a full art. I'll I'll definitely take that. Look at like just the future background. It's got like them orbs, whatever the grid. It's on the grid, bro. Not too bad. I will definitely take a full art, As especially like the pull rates for Temporal Forces. Definitely look a little nerfed compared to previous Scarlet and Violet era sets. One more pack of Temporal Forces, then we'll move into some Fusion Strike. Kind of, kind of little. I'm always a little nervous when it comes to Fusion Strike because it's just like Evolving Skies. It's either all or nothing. You know, you never really get. You get the standard hits, but. Nothing ever, nothing uh, really too crazy, unless you just get super lucky. Last pack of Temporal Forces. Let's go. Come on, let's see if we can get something. Karidon, Reverse Holographic, Heatmore, and a Bramble Gas, non or regular Hollow. Geez. All right, we got to slow down here. Onto the Fusion Strike. There's an Evolving Skies pack hiding in here somewhere, and we got the 151. So I need to start cooking through some of these packs. Just skipping any card trick that I come across just trying to just uh, just to blow through them see what we can do we have a Jigglypuff come on Fusion Strike hit us one time with a huge card come on we have a Golem oops oh and a Chandelure VMAX I about completely ruined that reveal I pretty much did 
But a Chandelure VMAX, not too bad. It's a VMAX hit. I'll take it. Come on, put it on the board. Backboard. Come on, Fusion Strike. I'm just going to blow through this hanger box, and then we'll get into that C22 Mini 10 with the Evolving Skies. It's that... <laughs> Again, that Evolving Skies video that I'm saving up, I'm literally buying these C22 Mini 10s every chance I get. Like, I'm saving for a video, guys. It's going to happen. Just one big blowout of Evolving Skies. It may be my last one. Extra Drill and a Gudra non-holographic. But seriously, uh, with these Walmart restocks, I, I seriously enjoy going around, driving around. I probably, you know, drained a half, damn near a half tank of gas. Uh, but it's all highway. <laughs> I'm all highway. But uh, it's all highway highway miles. It's pretty simple. Just it's almost a straight shot between all three WalMarts that are around me. So it's not too bad. Uh, Azamaril and an Arcanine Fusion Strike cooks us once again. Oh wait, never mind. We got one more pack. I was about to talk trash on Fusion Strike, which most likely going to be the case. But yeah, seriously, uh, three WalMarts, three locations. Technically four, but that last, like I said, that last store I didn't record. Just too many people in the. And the stock aisle, the card aisle, is very narrow, and there's absolutely no room, so I just don't record. There wasn't much anyway, as like per stock. And a Starmy holographic, not too bad. At least a little something from Fusion Strike with the Chandelure and the Hollow. We're just gonna go, yeah, we're just gonna, just not even gonna talk about Evolving Skies. I just, we need something, obviously. But uh, it, it, you guys know how it is. It's Evolving Skies, whoop de doo come on. I don't even know what single packs are going for now. I know booster boxes are out, you know, just absolutely jacked in price. We'll see what we can get out of one pack of Evolving Skies. Can we... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, wishy-washy. Go figure. Uh, but I do the, I do these videos once in a while, uh, restock videos uh, with those three stores. They're pretty good stock all the time. Find some interesting items, but... I don't know, I'd say the most interesting thing I did find today was the... I don't know if it's a reprint or a, I guess a, just a normal restock of the 151 Mini Tins because I haven't seen 151 Mini Tins in a hot minute. I mean, I, I'll see one every now and again, but I'm sure it's just like leftover stock that somebody found and put back in its place. Come on, let's get something out of 151 today. Let's let's juice it up. And a Charmander illustration rare. Dude, that is sick. I love this card. I love Charmander. Love the whole evolution line. What can we get? Dude, I think usually I've been pulling full arts right behind this. Check this out. Okay, I <laughs> completely lied about that. We will take a, I about said Gengar, Charmander Illustration Rare from 151. I believe this was out of the Gengar 10. Yeah, I think these first two packs are the Gengar 10. Then it goes to the Arcanine. I think the Dragonite 10 is last. Charmander Illustration Rare, heavy hitter right there. I think it may be like a $25, 30 to $30 card, something like that. 151, man, my luck with it has been has been incredible, uh, especially on the later runs, like the later openings I've been doing. You know, off the rip, like when it first released, my luck wasn't all you know all the way there. But lately, man, it's just been I've been going back to it. It's been providing. It's been giving me some hits. Can we get a God Pack? Eat. Muck, Psyduck, and a wheezing holographic. We need one. We need one God Pack on camera, right? Like that would that'd be pretty cool. Like a. I mean, I have pulled four Charizard special illustration rares. Pulled the fourth one like two weeks ago. And uh, man, a fifth one in a God Pack would not be the worst day. I will say that much. That would be sick. Pinsir, we got a Machop. Ooh, and a gold secret uh, psychic energy. That's sick. I love gold secret rares, especially from 151. They just, they just. They're, they always amaze me. That's insane. And for the rare, we have a Jolteon. Again, I picked these mini tins at random. You know, I just... Gengar, you know, obviously is probably the more popular one, but uh, Dragonite and I think the Arcanine, I, I completely just picked from that random uh, box or that for that for from that display that was sitting on the shelf. Gold, Secret Rare, uh, Psychic Energy. Honestly, not a bad board, uh, backboard up there. We got the Charmander. We got a Full Art from Temporal Forces. A little bit of shiny action. And gold secret rare, but, but, can we, can we, can we put anything else up there of mammoth proportions? I don't know. We're about to find out. What we got? Like three packs left, or two, including this one. Three math. I don't know. We got the Metapod. 
but yeah seriously i love doing these restock videos just seeing what's out there you know part of the part of it is just the journey the destination that whole spiel that you know however, however that goes we got a dodrio old amber and another gengar it's it's the journey it's not yeah it's about the journey not the destination it's 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 super fun just driving around you know drinking a baja blast on the road looking for <laughs> looking for goddamn pokemon cards but just want definitely wanted to put you know not the biggest opening just some random product that i found see what can make for a good video last two packs of 151 can we get something come on come on like a uh, come on god pack bro come on he amistar cliff able and a charizard ex base not too bad i'll go ahead and sleeve it up why not it's a Charizard, right? I could put it right by. I might. I think I will. Right by Charmander. Perfect. I still haven't pulled the Charmeleon. I don't know what the deal is. That's like my third or fourth. I may have to check. Charmander illustration rare, but last pack. 151 of this Walmart restock video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, got some hits. Opened a decent, you know, you know, a small sample size of product. Uh, Fusion Strike. We had some Evolving Skies or A single pack of evolving skies some paldean fades just a little little roundup i guess is what you'd call it last pack here we go we got to end it squirtle to start off that's pretty nice we got to end it with 151 obviously here we go last pack hope you guys enjoy the video let me know down below let me know what your walmarts have what they don't have if your walmart even restocks let me know here we go charmeleon <laughs> parasect we got a hitmachan and a caterpie illustration rare that's pretty sick I think I may, I may have one of these already. I think I have at least one. Caterpie Illustration Rare, not too bad. And for the last final rare, Aerodactyl to end it off. Not a bad way to end the video. I'll sleeve that Caterpie later. Don't worry. Let's go.